childhood, we've been told that humans have five senses, sight, hearing, smell, touch, and taste. Scientists all over the world try to explain the sensory mechanism, but all the discoveries they made so far don't really do justice to our body for all the fantastic things we do every day. What I want to say is that we have more than five senses, but we are not superheroes. So what is a sense? A sense is a system composed by uh, composed of uh, a group of cells that can get an information and pass it to the brain that will interpret it, give it an interpretation. Um, so we have extra senses, but we are not really aware of them. For example, for example, close your eyes. With your eyes closed, touch your nose. We always know the position of our nose because of a sense called proprioception that uses the capability of receptors of movement and posture to always give us the position of the segments of our body and make them interact with the environment. Obviously, this works if you're not drunk, because that is all another story. <laughs> proprioception also helps us to avoid embarrassing moments. There are some receptors called tensoceptors that give us the level of stretchiness of inner uh, organs and muscles, inner organs like the bladder. When the bladder is too stretched, it means there is too much liquid inside, and we may need uh, to go for a wee, and we have to wrap it for the toilet. <laughs> Another sense that is for sure really undervalued is balance. Balance allows us to stand on our feet, or on one foot, or on our hands, if you like. <laughs> the um, organ responsible for balance is in an inner ear, and it's called vestibular system. And uh, it's composed of uh, a layer of cells, like uh, the walls of this plastic bag, and a liquid inside. Uh, the liquid is called endolymph. And when the head or the body moves, the endolymph moves, the, the cells feel the movement and pass information to the brain that will decide whether and how to keep the balance. Again, if you're not drunk. But that will become a very bad habit. But for my favorite among all the extra senses, well, for this one, there is not a clear explanation right now. It's believed to be the result of uh, the coordination of different parts of the brain, uh, the cortex, the cerebellum, the hippocampus, and the basal ganglia. Mysterious, yes, but very important, particularly for me today, because without the sense of time passing by, I would have never been able to fit this presentation in this very quick three minutes. Thank you.